What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. We're going to be taking a look at a absolutely gorgeous, luxury yet sporty Lexus. That's right, it's the 2016 Lexus GSF. Now, you know, you could take a luxury car by Lexus and say, man, this feels great, and soft, and cushy, and oh, I just love a Lexus, right? But then you kind of mix that in with a sports car. Oh, yeah, that right there, yeah. That's what they've done with this vehicle. It is pure muscle, fast. I mean, wait until you see this car today. If you've seen them online before, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen one before, this is your opportunity today with us here at Low Country Pre-Owned in Mount Pleasant. Man, I'm so excited for my friends here at Low Country. They really do keep a great selection of beautiful vehicles. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Here we go. All right, everybody, so a little basic information about this GSF, if you didn't know. It's got a 5.0 liter V8 under the hood. How about it, right? When we let you hear the engine in a minute and we'll rev it up, you're gonna be like, ooh, man, it sounds good. So 5.0 liter V8, 467 horsepower. Ooh, it's getting better. 4.4 seconds, zero to 60. And it has a top speed here in America at 168 miles per hour. Some of y'all might be thinking, oh man, it's got 200 plus on the dash, but that's what it tops out at at 168 according to Car and Driver Online. All right, let's start looking at it. One thing we always do on our pre-owned car videos is check out the current condition of the vehicle to make sure it is in the creme de la creme, the cream of the crop of conditions. That's right. And we'll definitely have that today and we'll let you know the mileage on the car and the price. So the front end on the Lexus is extremely aggressive. I mean, the front grille, the headlights, it's got cameras on it. It's got everything going on with this car in the front. It even has a heads up display unit right there on the windshield. So let's get a little closer look while we're talking right now and see how this front end is going to look. And let me tell you something, folks. The price tag on this vehicle brand new was over $85,000. So it was not one cheap vehicle to purchase. So, you know, Lexus has done a great job on the front end, like we just got done talking about. These headlights, LED going on up here. You got your daytime running lights there. You got your blinkers down in here is what, what I'm assuming right now. I like how they've given it this black chrome going around. Again, just keeps it very aggressive, very sporty and sleek. The big Lexus logo, this honeycomb type grill. Looks pretty cool. And then to really step it up into the sports car world, they're giving you carbon fiber down here on the bottom. And you'll notice on the inside of the car, there's carbon fiber all over the interior as well, and probably even on the back of the car. So everything's matching up really nice. So, you know, if you like the front, you're gonna love the wheels. I mean, holy mackerel, these wheels are absolutely gorgeous. So they got this beautiful face on these rims. Look at this, it's kind of like a chrome face. I don't think that's chrome though. It almost looks like a high polished aluminum, which looks good. You got your wheel locks. Then these massive brakes back there in yellow look great. Even got the F logo on there as well. Then the tires, again, they're 19 inch wheels. You got the Pilot Super Sport tires on here, which are looking good by Michelin. So a nice sporty, sticky tire to grip the road when going around corners and just taking off. Also, you'll notice the rotors back there, how they're, they're not drilled, but they are slotted, which helps it cool off a little bit faster when you're doing some high braking power things. All right, let's keep looking at the car. Also right here, you're gonna notice this is gonna let air kind of flow out. Aerodynamics play an important role with this vehicle when you're going on top speeds. And aerodynamics do also help with fuel economy as well, but more also a look that really stands out. Gives it that kind of exotic sports car look out of a sedan. The mirrors look great. They're a dark gray, they're not black. They're a nice shade of gray. You have your sunroof up top. Tinted windows already looking good. And again, when you see the interior, you're gonna love the color in there and the way the seats are designed and everything like that. Back tires, have a look. A Little bit bigger tire in the back because it is real wheel drive. It does have nitrogen in the tires. That's how you can tell when you see that green dot on there. And it's still got bigger brakes in the back and slotted rotors in the rear. So that's nice. 
Then the back, more carbon fiber on the rear deck lid spoiler here. Let me tell you folks, carbon fiber is not a cheap material and you're getting it on this vehicle. Now if that wasn't enough, the tail lights are just as gorgeous as the headlights. Backup sensors, backup camera. And you also have quad exhaust in the back. And I love how Lexus took these exhaust pipes and kind of angled them like that. Something a little different, right? Definitely so. We're going to go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and rev it up for y'all so y'all can have a listen. So, you know, it doesn't have that American muscle kind of sound where it's like, you know, it doesn't have that Mustang Camaro kind of sound. This is a pure Japanese type of sound that you're hearing, and it's really not a very loud exhaust. Maybe it gets louder when you're hitting the highway out there, but really to me, I heard more of the 5.0 liter sound up front than I heard the exhaust. So I kind of like that. You know, it's not too loud. Someone buying a $85,000 luxury sports sedan probably doesn't want the loudest exhaust on the road. We'll save that for the Mustangs. All right, before we take a look at the interior of this gorgeous vehicle, you know, we couldn't go through a review without at least popping the hood and let y'all see what the engine and everything going on under here looks like. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, I will tell you right off the get-go here, a very lightweight hood. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh much at all. Lexus gives you the shocks under there so it comes up nice and easy. You don't have to put a little pole up or anything like that. And then, I mean, just let's get a closer look. You got to. So you almost be wondering, you're thinking to yourself, you're like, okay, it's a four-door car, so it's got to have some rear cargo space in this trunk. Well, let's have a look and see. Well, there's a button right up under there. Now you'll notice it's got a lot of nice carpeting up here for sound detonator to keep it quieter, because again, a luxury vehicle is always going to be nice and quiet on the cabin. And it's got a lot of space in the back. It really does. I mean... I could technically fit in here if needed to. So that's a lot of room in the back. I mean, again, I technically could have got my legs in and everything like that. Again, I'm six foot one and uh, I could have fit just fine in the trunk of the Lexus. So that's a plus. You can get your golf bags in there, your luggage, everything you need. All right, everybody. So something we always do on pretty much longer reviews is we test out leg room and headroom and in the back and all that again i am 215 pounds six foot one height so anyways let's hop in again this car does sit a little bit lower to the ground you know that's a given and let's hop in and take a look before we do that, i want to show you a few things just the craftsmanship of this vehicle i mean you got carbon fiber here leather high grade leather suede beautiful black chrome going around and embezzling things and stuff like that top of the line stereo system lexus is right there look at all the power seat options look at the seat inside the vehicle i mean if you wanted to have racing seat belts in here or whatnot where they strap in right there lexus gives you that option and uh man definitely gonna be able to hold you in the seat while going around the corners mats are nice and clean again this is a low mileage vehicle, only 8,500 miles right around there. So whoever owned this car did not put a whole lot of mileage on it, and it's a 2016. So 8,500 miles on a 2016 is extremely low. And when I tell you all the price in a little bit, it's pretty attractive, it really is. I mean, again, new $85,000. We have it listed online for around 57.9. Make us an offer, of course, but 57.9 is where we got the starting price at on this vehicle. And I got a feeling that's pretty uh, aggressive. So, <laughs> that door actually opens up pretty wide. I mean, I got pretty long arms here and it, it, it took me a second to grab it. So that's kind of interesting um, that the doors open up so wide. Oh, it's quiet. That's what I was talking about earlier is how quiet Alexis is when you sit on the inside. That's really nice. 
I'm excited to do a Lexus review today because the last few Lexus videos we've done, we've got extremely high view counts on them. I think one of our videos is almost up to 200,000 on the Lexus LS470 LWB. So uh, thank you for each and every one of y'all that watched that video on the channel here. All right, let's switch the camera view around. But before we do, as you can tell, headroom is good to go. Legroom, good to go. Let's take a look and see all the little features in here. All right, everybody, so as you can see here, we had a little bit of an audio problem while doing this video, so we are actually recording a voiceover right now. So anyways, we're on the interior of the Lexus GSF, and um, currently right now I'm kind of talking about, you know, just the fit and finish and just how clean the car is. It's got a really big screen, but on top of that, I love the suede and the blue stitching that kind of wraps up onto the dash, also on the uh, shifter handle there and on that leather boot. Lexus really uh, takes it to another level. You got the uh, paddle shifters, and also I like how the plus and minus sign are in blue as well. And the leather wrapped steering wheel with the blue stitching feels good. A lot of carbon fiber on the interior as well. So it's, it's really a nice interior on this car. I mean, it's, you know, it's well worth every penny that you're going to pay for it. And again, the dealership's asking around 57 grand right around there or call make an offer however that is so you can see here i also like how they they give that digital look going on with the lcd screens now right now i'm, I'm trying to flip flop around while i'm doing this voice over here but we got a pretty nice setup with the carbon fiber you got that to control the uh screen up top there for your nav suede on the armrest another nice feature not sure how that's going to do you know five years later you know how suede gets especially uh where you're touching it a lot but I like how it's there too for your hand or your palm or whatnot when you're uh, using these functions here to control that screen up top. Um, the silver buttons we looked at earlier were actually for the uh, driving modes, sport mode, winter mode, all that. Anyways, heads up display right there where I'm pointing at. So you got that feature. Also looks like you got some SOS features and things in the rear view mirror. You got a pretty big mirror there in the vanity and a nice bright light up top. More lights up here. LED, it seems to be. Good size sunroof. Nothing major up top on the sunroof, but an average size sunroof. So that's looking good. What else am I talking about here? I like how that moves around. And then it opens up. You got a nice big opening. You got auxiliary port, a USB, a 12 volt in there. And it's got a nice kind of felt lining on the uh, inside of the junk drawer, as I call it in the car business, right? Then you got the electronic park brake which some people would rather have a traditional uh, parking brake with e-brake. Big glove box, got two kind of shelves up in there. Got a nice clock, right? I mean, people that are driving stylish cars like this probably want a nice clock inside the car, right? So that's pretty cool as well. What else can we see while uh, Mr. Chad here is going through? Backup camera, got the guidelines. They uh, move with you while you're turning your steering wheel to make sure you don't uh, tap on anything. And that nav screen up there is really big. It's nice and wide. It's definitely a lot wider than what you get on most cars. Right now, we're taking a look at the key. Lock, unlock. Got a trunk button. I was actually surprised that we didn't have remote start on the smart key. Hmm. Kind of interesting, really, you know? A lot of your high-end vehicles, and even not some high-end cars, a lot of them come with remote start. But this one didn't. It is a smart key, so you just walk up to that door there and put your hand on the handle. Boom. Unlock for you, just like so. Right now, I'm going to actually be hopping into the back of the car to test out the rear legroom and headroom and look at some of the amenities in the back as well. I think right now I'm talking about the uh, where you could stick those sport type, uh, sport type, I don't know, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> the, um, the, the, the seat belts, they kind of, the three-point seat belts or whatever they are. But you can't actually do that because you got some kind of mesh plastic piece going through there. Anyways, you got plenty of leg room. I like how the back seats are cut out. So even someone taller like me, around six foot one, still got enough room, even with a six-foot person sitting in the front. And, uh, and I like how the back of the seats are in black. So, you know, over time, if you got a pair of jeans on or sitting back there and your legs are rubbing on it, it doesn't discolor the back of the seat. Did we not mention how good looking that interior is? I'm really liking that kind of a reddish amaretto color on the seats. Right now I'm talking about how that's kind of blocked off so you can't put those three-point racing harnesses in there. I guess you'd have to take a Dremel tool and kind of drill that out if that's something you would want to do. But who wants to drill out that on a $85,000 car? Really? 
I don't know. Some people probably would do it. Rear air vents in the back, good, more carbon fiber. And you got a uh, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet down there. Actually, nope, you got a 12 volt down there. There you go. Um, you got handles above every window. I know my wife likes to grab a hold of those handles while I'm driving because she's always, you know, I'm going fast around corners. I uh, like the F in the back of the uh, headrests in the back. And then the center, the center armrest slash kind of like a console is really nice. I like how that is where you can throw stuff in there. Your phone could sit in there. Leather feels nice and soft. Even got a little spot to throw more things in there. A junk drawer in the back of the car. And um, you got more felt lining inside of there. And one thing I'm getting ready to point out is about the actual cup holders. You don't see any cup holders right now, but here they are. They're actually right down there. There we go. I like how that is. It doesn't take away from where you can rest your arm at. I talk about that on about every video I do when I get in the back seat of a vehicle. Most cars have those cup holders kind of up top there where your arm is at. And that's kind of ridiculous because you can't put that big McDonald's supersized cup in there, you know, without taking away from your armrest. So anyways... Good looking interior. Headroom's great as well. Look at that. Again, I mean, I got about an inch and a half or so of headroom, which is fine. So that all worked out really well. All right, everybody. My last call to action today while this video is going on is to advise you to call my friends at Low Country Pre-Owned in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. They're an affiliate of Low Country Volkswagen, which is pretty much just across the street. So if you are liking this vehicle, and you're watching this video and it's not 90 days or it's not a month away from now while you're watching, it's still available. You need to visit us online at lowcountrypreown.com. That's where you can go to get our email address, phone number, and view more detailed information about that car. So thanks again for watching. As usual, make sure you like, comment, and press down hard on that red subscribe on YouTube. Visit our friends on Facebook at Low Country Preowned. And hey, we're having a great time today. Thank you again. God bless you. God bless America. God bless that Lexus GSF. Mm -hmm.